All right, this is Tommy with AAA Exterminate Company out here in Sanford in a crawl space. Uh, every now and then we'll get things sent to us from uh, home inspectors. We're friends with a lot of home inspectors. We do a lot of work for them. And uh, every now and then they'll see something they think might be termites and they want to get a second opinion. And so usually we'll ride out here and take a look and, and see what kind of information we can give them. This is a pretty interesting one here, so check this out. Okay, um, whenever you're looking on the inside of a foundation wall and you see tunnels, you see dirt tunnels, see this, this is a gigantic dirt tunnel here. And you think, man, that's a huge, that's a huge tunnel. It looks very, very similar to a termite tunnel. This is actually, this house here is actually new construction. Nobody's moved in here yet. This is brand new construction. You used to not see this kind of thing, but more and more, you know, you're seeing kind of bad jobs being done for, for pre-treatments on new construction. You're seeing um, bait systems used for pre-construction, which is terrible, I think. But in this case right here, though, for anybody who's who's watching this, a lot of my home inspector buddies um, will see this kind of thing. And so this looks like an enormous, huge termite tunnel going up this wall. And But what this actually is, these are ants. Um, ants can sometimes make term, can sometimes make tunnels that can be mistaken for termite tunnels. It's, now, most termite guys will immediately know as soon as we see them that it's not termites, that it's ants. Um, there's a few different reasons. Uh, mainly, the tunnels are usually a lot wider, a lot bigger. Um, but also, they're, termites, whenever they make tunnels, they... Um, they make them uh, very solid. They basically glue the, the the dirt together and they bind it. And so it's a, a very it's more of a solid tunnel. It's more like dried mud. Ants they are not as good at making tunnels. Their their tunnels are not as strong. So when ants the ants tunnels like this, they'll be very very loose. And so literally you can just kind of touch them, and they'll just collapse. They'll just all fall apart. That's how you t and there's also there's no stain. After you remove it, there's no real defined stain like there would be for termites. So this um, this is very, very often mistaken for termites, but it's not. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's it's much wider. The galleries are much wider. It's not, they're not quite put together the same way termites are. If you've seen any of the videos or any pictures of termite tunnels, termite tunnels are usually uh, much thinner than this. Uh, they're also... Uh, much tougher like whenever you go to chip one away it's more solid it's more together and see these just kind of they just easily kind of fall down they fall apart um, but I'm seeing I'm seeing this more often and um, this definitely I appreciate any uh I'm a home inspector buddies that would call me out for something like this because this is the kind of thing that you know uh if you're not uh, specifically a termite person you may not know you know how to identify that um we had another one over here and see, this one's just a giant one. This one's just huge. And it does. It looks a lot like termites. You know, uh, it looks just like a termite tunnel. And a matter of fact, uh, not too long ago, I remember there were people within the state of North Carolina, even some of the state inspector people, who said that uh, ants cannot build tunnels. The only time you can ever see ants with tunnels like this is if they take over a termite tunnel. Um, but over the years, we've been able to prove that no ants do this. This is not termites. Um, they're completely separate. And so it's very much like the tunnels or like the mounds they'll make. They'll be kind of held together a little bit. Um, that's what they're doing with these tunnels. And so the same thing, this is a big tunnel and it just kind of, it falls right down. It just collapses and it doesn't leave a stain. Now a tunnel, a tunnel that big, a huge tunnel like that, if that was a termite tunnel, it would leave a very, very defined stain on the wall and there'd be no mistake in it. And see, they kind of have a little mound up here but now ants will definitely ants will definitely use this kind of stuff to get up into the structure um and it's, they're not really carpenter ants or anything they're just normal uh normal ants and they'll, they'll do these little um uh tubes to get up into the structure and um so they might end up in a kitchen or something like that so every now and then if you have a really hard uh to get rid of ant situation you might need to check in the crawl space and see if this kind of thing's going on uh, but this is one of the situations where, you know, we got called out. We're able to identify that, no, this is not termites. It's, it's ants. So there's nothing to really worry about. Probably would suggest spraying the ants, though, to make sure that they uh, don't come back or anything. And um, now, if this had been properly treated, if this had been an actual liquid, 
a termiticide treatment, if someone would have done a pre-treatment of this house with something like uh, Termidor or something like that, these ants would have never been here. This, this would have never happened. This only happens more and more because um, things like uh, bait stations are being used for pre-treatments. Um, but that's basically all. I just want to kind of show the interesting little tunnels that get called termites all the time, but actually are not termites. And there's been a bunch of termite jobs sold off of this kind of thing. Um, but no need for a termite treatment on this one. Just keep up the contract and you should be good.